In this video, I will be showing you how to use Roho to manage your Roblox games. So Roho is basically an extension for code editors, and I'll be showing off Visual Studio Code in this example. That basically it makes it so you can sync your code editor with Roblox Studio, and then with that you can take advantage of things like Git to cloud host. Version control will also be more controlled and you can give more information and things like that. And I'll uh, kind of give a brief explanation on Git and GitHub, but I won't go too deep into that in this video, but I'll show you how to basically get it going. So first of all, you want to go to roho.space, and this is basically the page for Roho. This is pretty simple. Might change, so I'll leave a link in the description. You can, uh, it should be updated if it ever changes, but probably shouldn't. And then you want to go to this installation section, and I'll be using Visual Studio Code in this example. If you're not, you may be able to do it through the CLI or command line interface, but uh, that's going to be a little more difficult. So then you want to go ahead and hit this link right here, and that'll take you to the VS Code extension. I'll also leave that in the description. And then you want to hit install. But before you do that, I forgot to mention this. You want to install Visual Studio Code. So. Go to code.visualstudio.com and then you just download it and install it like a normal executable. And once you do that, you'd hit the install button again if you didn't have it installed already. And it'll take you to this page and you'll have an install button and just go ahead and do that. So now that you have Roho installed, first of all, I'm going to talk about creating a new game with Roho and then I'll talk about porting an existing game sort of also the documentation so that's kind of helpful so basically what you need to do is create a folder for your project which visual studio code will sort of use so in this case i'll just navigate to my projects folder you can put this in like documents or something like that and then i will say test and then what you want to do in visual studio code is do file and then open the folder and that'll basically reopen your thing with the folder so if you hit Control shift p then it'll open up this and all you need to do is for right now is hit Ro roho initialize that won't be your first option so just search roho in it it should come up and that'll basically set up your game to be the default layout like that kind of so uh, here's the default project.json file. If you don't know what this is, this is basically like a Roblox table, kind of think of it. This just has properties and stuff. You probably don't want to change this, but if you're trying to change your Roho workflow, that might be a good place to go. .lua is module script. Uh, Server.lua files would be server scripts and client.lua files will be the client scripts. So if you already port a game, that'll that be what it look like. So next what we want to go ahead and do is hit Control shift p again and then search for roho build build with project file and then you'll probably say default.project.json and that should be the thing that was automatically created you shouldn't really have to worry about that so it'll say building project built project to a build.rbxlx and it looks like this saved in our project folder that we had open and basically what you need to do is open this up, double click on it. It should open as a Roblox place. If not, you can open Roblox Studio and then basically say file, open from file, and then select your file that way. And next what we want to do is install the Roho plugin. So this is the important part. And by plugin, I mean Roblox plugin. So uh, control shift P again, and we will search Roho uh, show welcome screen and roblox studio plugin so you'll have you want to hit manage it for me and that'll basically just automatically download the roblox studio plugin for you and put it in the right folder everything like that so after you do that you might have to restart your roblox studio but then it should be there and that's really all we need from this page so next what we want to go ahead and do is Control shift p one more time and say roho start and make sure it's start server with project file and then default.project.json i'm hitting enter you could also just click on it to select it and then uh, we want to open our roho plugin which will be in your plugin section and the default should be fine but make sure it's the same so localhost port 34872 
should be fine with that unless you change something. So I'm going to hit connect and you'll see test. And then it has that. And then we're basically set up, I believe. So by default, you have a server script and you have a client script, which is starter player scripts, by the way. And then you have a module script in here. So I'm going to change text in here. So I'm going to say hi. And there it is. I didn't even have to save it, but you might have to save it with control S or file save for it to actually take effect. But there you go. It basically automatically updates. And then you can use something like source control right here to basically commit your changes, um, stage them, I guess. If you don't know what this means, it's basically some, it's version control. If you're using something like Git connected to this, then that'll basically get that working. I'll show that in the end because it's less important. So I'll say, I'll just say commit. So you can commit those and change them and then publish. And then you can basically just sign in and stuff, but I'll show that at the end. So yeah, that's basically it for creating a new game, but next we'll get into porting an existing game. So you'll need RBX LX to Roho for this to work. And then you basically wanna to go to this releases section. There's also a link right here. It'll also be in this video's description and basically download the exe or mac os file and then run it and make sure that you have a project folder so i've created mine right here and then what we want to basically do is go into an existing roblox game and one thing to note is unless you want to do some code editing you will want to have all your places properly configured that you'd want scripts to be in so for example I'd want a script in here. I'd want a script in here. And then I'd want a module script in here, preferably. That makes it easier. They might have it fixed in the future, so those will be automatically imported, but for now they're not. And then uh, you basically want to save your current project. And then I'll give it this name, test.rbxl, and do that. And then what we want to do is basically run rbxlx to Roho. And yes, it works on normal rbxl files as well. So don't worry about that. Then it'll say select a place file. Then you just want to select the place file you just saved. Okay, apparently I just had an issue where it didn't go to the next step. So if that happens, just restart it. I have no idea why that happened. But uh, then I want to grab my project folder and that's just going to be an empty folder preferably and then it should do a couple things and then the program should close if not you might have to like go into that folder or something uh, by go into that folder i mean like i just selected it last time but instead you might have to go into your empty folder and then select it okay so after you do that you should have this folder right here called test or it's not going to be called test it's going to be called whatever your rbxl file was called and then you'll have source in here and you also notice this default project.json that's kind of important you don't you don't need to mess with it normally but it's just kind of there so then you have these three folders which have the same names as the roblox studio folders or services and basically what we can do now is open that folder so we'll do file open folder and we'll select it and yes that's the folder that we want to use actually we might want to open just the folder inside which it actually has the source and everything so we can have a better view of it so here we have our source and we have default project.json and now what we want to do i believe we can do roho start and that'll basically start server with project file i'm hitting enter to initialize these and then we'll select default project.json like that and now it should do that it should have this notification saying it's listening for a response and then if you have installed the roblox roho plugin Control shift p roho and then show welcome screen and then just click on manage it for me and then restart studio if it's not showing up and then once you do that you should see this default selection should be fine and your project should be there so if i go into source and then replicated storage we have our module script right here don't edit it on Roblox Studio. That's currently not 
supported but um you can if you want you just have to update it in here but you'll see uh if i do something like uh comment i don't even have to save it it's in the game and you might have to save it but you shouldn't i don't think and and if you have to save it it's file and save and then it should update if it's working correctly and yeah just like that it's working pretty cool so next what we want to do i'm going to be talking about using git as your project for your projects so let's go to the source control section and it says this folder does not currently have a git repository you can initialize the repository which will do that i think you can also directly publish this folder to a github repository I think what we want to do is publish to GitHub and then it'll probably ask you to install a plugin, I believe, or an extension. But then if you click that again, then you should get an allow. And I'll basically bring up this, which it's asking for permission. And yeah, it's basically saying we want repository access, which they obviously need in order to do that. Let me just log in and that should work after that so then we reopen the thing and then say yes and that should sort of let it figure out what's going on so publish to github public repository uh select which files should be there okay oh wait why did i create it as a public repository it's kind of dumb of me but that might actually like automatically create one if you don't have a github account by the way you can just create one github.com and that do that but um that's saying it just created a repository from this thing i guess it did so yeah test we got this here which isn't really ideal i don't know why i made it public but you'll see that source is here now and let's say we want to make some changes and basically publish them this is a comment now you notice the source control it has one so what we want to go ahead and do is stage the change and then after that what we want to do is commit the change and a commit message this is where you say basically what you changed and sometimes you'll try to commit a bunch of scripts at the same time so just create an overall summary of what you did to those scripts so uh in this case i don't really care i'll just call it i'll just say commit i don't think you really need to say anything and then you want to sync changes so then it would basically pull the current changes which means or pull the cloud saved data and then it'll push the changes to the cloud that might sound confusing but you can just say okay and that should work so if we go back to my github thing i'll go to source and server script service and then we can open up the script and it says this is a comment which you'll see i just added in the change so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to set up Roblox Studio, Roho, Visual Studio Code, and GitHub to kind of work together. And this is great if you're working on a team. Yeah, that's basically all. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye.